Whoa. Check these out. Major, mega crawlers. We got a Fiesta back here. Okay, the first thing that caught my eye as soon as I walked. How are you, sir? Good, how are you doing today? Look at this thing, guys. The Winnebago body. It's all patina. That thing looks awesome. Get down low on that, Ev, so you can see the, the side and the details. 100% drivable right there. Really? 100% drivable? Yep. And it's got big old expensive beadlocks on it, too. I think we have these. These are the uh, Vanquish beadlocks method wheels. Those are really nice. Super cool. Your arm getting tired, buddy? You're getting a little, <laughs> a little shaky. It's my leg. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of uh, electronics and stuff in here. This is cool, a half cab. I don't have any half cab crawlers. And we got a whole bunch of stuff over Good here. Now. Good now. <laughs> oh man, it seems like I'm seeing this a lot. I, are these the nebulas or? So those ones are made by Robo Slug. Uh -huh. Etsy based company. I'm actually a team driver for Banff tire inserts. Oh, really? So at this point, I've pretty much switched everything over to their stuff. Those are pretty cool. I'm not like big, like I like the trail, the, the scale stuff. I'm not big into crawling, but I bet you if I was, th these would be so probably even key. With your scale rig, uh -huh. I have everything from C1, 2, and 3 to dedicated trail rig to dedicated scale rigs. Uh -huh. And with the right insert, it will change the performance 100%. Really? Yeah. Now I run a dual stage um, mm -hmm. insert uh -huh. for the um, <laughs> for the uh, the scale rigs, and they work <laughs> incredibly well. Really? Compared to with a stock foam or the two stage foams. Uh huh. So about the only thing that I have super cool. foams in at this point are uh, my U4 rigs uh -huh. and my hill climbing rigs. I mean, I might so need to try. Anything that crawls has got an insert in it. I might need to try something out like that. That's pretty cool. Look at this, guys. Like, look at these deals. Three 3S batteries. Oh, these are 2S batteries. And the charger for 125 still a killer. Amazing deal. Oh, look, a telemetry expander. So this you can add to uh, your regular TQI receiver, and it basically gives you GPS so you can get better speed run measures. They got some tires in here. Very cool. New Fly Sky transmitter receiver. What's your name, sir? Joe. Joe? Nice to meet you, nice Joe. Meet you, Thank you. I'm making my rounds and then I'll come back around them. <laughs> I'm noting all the things that I want. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got a whole bunch of tracks and stuff over here. All right. So we basically we came in through this road right here. We pulled into the hobby shop parking lot, which this is the hobby shop. We are going to do a tour on the hobby shop. Uh, probably another video, but we've only gone through this side. Looks like like that car's got something on it. We've only gone through this side. We're about to go through this side of swap meet, and there are still people arriving. Uh, this is a great turnout. Great swap meet so far. Um, this one's got a lot of tracks and stuff, so we're I'm already getting excited over here. Look at this. Look at this. It's got turbos on it. So this is a drift car, um, but he's got turbos mounted on. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh, look at this. Is this the FMS? Yeah. Wait, when did they make the truck blazer body? What's that blazer that you got with that shell is removable? Oh, I didn't even I, I I didn't even know that shell was removable. Like, cause yours came with that roll bar and everything. Yeah. And if you undo the four screws underneath it, it pops a shell off and you can turn it into a truck. And I'm a square body fanatic, so obviously it had to go in the truck. So you put you put shock oil in yours like right off the bat, right? Yeah. I didn't put it in mine. You could tell in my video I was bouncing around like crazy, but that looks good without the, uh, that's right, because I remember seeing these pieces and uh, I didn't, I was like, what are those for? So it's if you take the shell off, you can put them on. Yeah. That looks sweet. The only bad thing about it, I wish they would have thought about it. Uh -huh. The back window is now a solid piece to where it, it's the orange. Oh, but I see. If you take the body off, the actual rear window is there, so you can Oh, yeah, I see it right there. Like the hole in the actual window would be there. Uh-huh. But yeah, that would I be don't cool. Trust myself to cut that hole. It's a it's a beautiful truck, isn't it? I yeah. love it. For its price point cuz it's slow enough to crawl but fast enough to trail. Right. That, and that's what I like about it. I like the two-speed. This is great with the crawling gears. Is that the S the SCX? TRX4. Oh, TRX4. Yeah. I thought with the crawling gears it was just a little too mega slow. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it makes it amazing to crawl, but that's yeah. You can't right with it anymore. Yeah, and then I so I put the high speed gears in mine, and it got rid of so much of the torque. Mm -hmm. 
like then it was it wasn't good to crawl it was only good for running around i think i'm keeping all the stock gears in mind but you got a whole bunch on that one it, wait did you put this on the side yeah look at this guy <laughs> it's a madman it says free candy on the side is that the actual kyosho madman yeah i just swapped over i've been wanting to do a review on one of those tires. dude that's so funny you put free candy on the side dang it's brand new yeah what do you want for this guy i think 200 just because I bought it for my fiance. Oh, really? The last car I bought her, I turned it into a track car. <laughs> so it's, I ran one pack in the apartment complex, and that's it. I mean, it looks like you didn't even flip it over. God, it that's clean. Like, I mean, Evo. Yeah, yeah. And then this is the uh, that drag car, those DR10s. Man, they went super, yes. they're super selling these right now. I just did a video on uh, how cheap those are right yeah, now. They were 189 and then... Look at that. Uh, guys, got another box. Sorry to interrupt the swap meet vlogs. I hope you like it, by the way. I love swap meets. If you know of a good one, send it over to me because uh, I, I just have fun shopping. Anyways, this is a box from a Mr. Todd. Looks like from Maryland. I have no idea what's in this one. Pretty stoked, it's kind of heavy. Let's see what's inside. Okay, first off, right off the bat, it says thank you. Super cool, it says thank you for everything you do for the RC community. Here's a little something that my wife created for you and your wife, Todd. Oh my God, these are so freaking awesome. Sick, look at that. It's got all the MSM stickers on there oh my god that is sick super freaking cool let's see what melissa got oh man look at that one i think that's actually in there i think the sticker is actually inside the resin or whatever super sick thank you so much todd or todd's wife todd and todd's wife melissa's gonna love those super cool thank you love the appreciation gifts uh, i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing for the rc community i love it I'm never gonna stop. At least I don't plan on it. I just, I just love RC. Here's another package. It's got some cool stuff in it. I think I know what these are. Uh, this is this comes from a gentleman that runs the Moonlight Crawler events with us, or he comes to the Moonlight Crawler events. He noticed something on my cars, and it bothered him. He noticed that I don't have any license plates, so he printed me some license plates. Very nice. This is my. This is actually my license plate. MSM vlog. Super freaking cool. Thank you so much, Dave. I have my address in the description below. Thank you so much for the gifts. They're very, very kind. You guys are freaking awesome. Back to the RC car swap meet. X-Ray, what year is this one? Do you know? I think that's the 20. I built it for at the RCCA. Because I race at in control. Yeah. And I don't want to put an aluminum chassis on the asphalt. Right. Yep. I don't blame you. So. What do you want for this one? I know the I know X rays whenever they uh, yeah brand new they're stupid and then as soon as a new one comes out it's like golly and they don't really change so much but now that the X four is out it kind of made it I have I I think I have last year I don't have the most recent one I have last year's see I just bought the brand new X four for my asphalt car oh really it's pretty legit <laughs> I imagine but I think I'm selling that one for two two hundred. Oh man, that's, I know who would want that real bad. Jose would want that real bad. Jose buys up all the old <laughs> X-rays. From one of the guys at RCCA. Oh really? And we raced a few times, but making that Dallas trip. Yeah, it's, is, even for me it's far. Yeah. Super cool stuff, man. It's nice to meet you, man. Very nice to meet you. Oh, look at this, Revo. See, you can get Revos for a good deal. How are you, sir? I'm good. Doing well? Yes, sir. Whoa, we got some big, uh-oh. Is this the one for the X-Max? Yes, it is. And it's got a, a solder the EC5 connector on it. Mm. That's a good deal, dude. It is. What are they, like 220 or something? 230? Something like that. And then he's got the big old uh, castle motors here. Oh, I love this body. This is my favorite, like, actual real-life drift car, the... Uh, the Corolla, they call them AE90s, I think is what they call them. 86. 86, there you go. 
The Narivo, man, he's got some cool stuff. He's got little, uh, check these out. He's got <laughs> little seats. Super cool. I'm, make, I'm making my rounds. I'm making mental notes on what, what I want to come back for, but man, this is cool stuff. Very, very cool. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Another Revo, Nitro Revo. Dang, this one's got some big old tires on it. Sheesh. It's got servos on it. Still got the Opti Drive. Yeah. Very Place nice. All the wire on it, wiring harness on it. New float bug harness. Yeah. Yeah, that one always kind of need to replace whenever they start getting worn down. Yeah. Look at this brand. It looks like a brand new uh, F Fox yeah. body. Super nice. There's another slash 4x4. So what are we learning, guys? You can find slashes and revos at these swap meets. Good ones. Nice ones. Very cool. All right, moving on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh-oh. This guy's walking with Stampede 4x4. That's how you uh, market an RC car to swap meet. You put a sign on top and you drive it around like a champ. Look at that. <laughs> That's sweet. See this, guys? This is key. Not ran by a toddler. And then you get to sign for free. <laughs> That's super funny. All right, we're not done with swap meet. We still got a couple more tables, but look, you can see in the back. You guys maybe can't see that, but there's a drift track back there. Huge hobby shop. We are going to do a hobby shop tour. Uh, this is, place is actually called The Hobby Shop. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because it will be an upcoming video. We're about to shoot that now. All right, you guys are getting a sneak peek of The Hobby Shop because we have to come in here, cool down a little bit. Look at this drift track. <laughs> Ethan's, Ethan's ripping the drift car right now. That thing. Drifting is so much fun, guys. All right, guys, I lost my camera guy. He went inside and he's drifting, so looks like we're going old school for the rest of this swap meet. All right, so went this way. We got these two tables. There's more people showing up. Look at this thing. I'll show. I'll go show you guys that thing. That's like a mini crawler, mini crawler course, which is cool. And then there's more people that showed up over there. But let's check out this stuff over here. We got a Rustler VXL. Love the Rustler VXL. That's how you can tell it's a newer Traxxas. If it doesn't have the 5075 splitter here, that means it's newer because they stopped making those. Um, if it has that, it's probably just slightly older, not outdated, but older. There's a little brushless system hiding and all this stuff here. He's got a mini castle for his mini B. Got some mini stuff. Look at this. It's a, oh, look at that drift car, man. That one is sick. What kind of car is that? Rhino Max Shark. Nice. Look at how thick that rear shock tower is. My goodness. A whole bunch of stuff here. RC four-wheel drive parts, power systems. Look at the mini. Is that a SCX24 converted? Uh -huh. God, that thing is sick. Look at that. Wow, that's really really cool. Super cool. A friend of mine has one just like that. He he did the conversion too, but that one has got a, a upgraded motor. I bet you that one's actually pretty quick. Like with the overdrives, it'll do almost 30. Really? <laughs> he said with the overdrives, it'll do almost 30. That's insane. Super cool. A DGI. Quad. Cool, man. Thanks, dude. Yep. Now, moving on. Look, we got some, we got some, oh, look, custom cups. Super cool. Rustler 4x4. Looks like a slash two wheel drive. I love the Rustler 4x4. Such a versatile car. I have a few videos out there of this car. I'll put a link in the eye above, but I have a few of these and they're really a great all around car. You can do all, do all different types of stuff with them. Great little vehicles, custom cups. Let's see these. Oh man, those look good. Do you, you print on, you print on them? Um, or, sublimation print. Oh really? Um, my wife makes them. Anything, sublimation print. Put anything on them. That is super cool. Super cool, so you can do anything on them. That's pretty sweet. Guys, check out this mini crawler course. This thing is so cool. I've been wanting to do this so bad, but this is like a huge project to me, but apparently it's not as bad as I'm thinking it should be. This is like spray foam with a little bit of rocks integrated into it, but look at these. Look at how cool they made that. There's like a little cave 
they got a down like a second floor a bottom floor this is the hobby shops so they just let people crawl on it but i kind of wish i would have brought my uh my minis because that is sick that, that x max was for sale someone just bought it freaking killer deal look at it oh man it's so clean he's pulling his receiver out of it now i wonder who bought it who would do that <laughs> Just met Philip. He, he actually follows the channel. Thanks, Philip. Appreciate it. Uh, but he's selling everything right here for 300 bucks. Look at how good of a deal that is. The TRX4 Sport, it's got all the different brass on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you, the camera gets that, but it's like a like a like ghost, ghost print thing. on there. Yeah. Um, but yes, super good, super good deal. But what really, really caught my eye is look at this mini. But check out that wheel. This is the limited edition peacock wheel. Look at that. Looks so sick. Man, super cool. Thanks, Philip. Appreciate it, buddy. Yes, sir. Appreciate your content. Well, that's a wrap on the swap meet, guys. Great, great swap meet. I'm going to tell all the people in my area about the swap meet. This is only about three hours south of me. And look, they got two solid rows, lots of good deals, great deals. Uh, I spent money here that I really didn't plan on spending. So that's how you know those are killer deals because I only buy it if it's insanely good because I don't need anything. But everyone here is super cool. Big shout out to the guys at the hobby shop. We're about to do the tour of the actual interior hobby shop. You're gonna to wanna to check it out because it's an amazing shop, but everyone has been so hospitable. Everyone's super nice, super cool group down here. I'm probably gonna make my way down here more often. That's how cool these guys are. So I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.